It's the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai, and this track fast becoming a rookie's favorite. Alex Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race in his debut season, and it looks like Aidan Jackson's continuing the trend. He really is, Croft. He's showing great promise so far this season. Well, here's Ackerman now going up behind his young teammates. And the rumor in the paddock, Crofty, is that the tension's building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go, Ackerman's going for it. Down the inside of the hairpin, he's marched his teammate off the track. What are you doing? Casper, what the hell? Looks like Jackson's really struggling to get over that. OK, Aiden, keep it focused, concentrate. That brush with his teammate clearly affecting the young driver. It looks like it has, Crofty. I can't see any significant damage to that car, so he's going to have to pull himself back into this race. The car's looking OK, Aiden. See if he can recover a few places. What was that all about? You can recover, Aiden. That's not okay. That's really not okay. And we join a furious Aiden Jackson on board on his recovery drive after an incident with his teammate once again. This time it was the other way around. Kasper Ackermann pushing Jackson off the track while he was in the points, but it's not too late for a first points finish for Aiden Jackson. Now he's very close to Lando Norris. Maybe this time he can make a move into the hairpin on the end of this very long straight. Norris defending a little bit down the inside, but no problem for Aiden Jackson with his uh, DRS wide open. Okay, good work, great pass. Now Esteban Ocon in his Renault is the next driver that Aiden Jackson looks to overtake to well, get a little bit of payback to his teammates. It is still possible if he can keep this pace up. Down the outside, ahead of the hairpin as well, and he's passed Esteban Ocon for P12. Now it's just Carlos Sainz and Kasper Ackermann. He is not close enough this time around. Ahead of the hairpin. So he has to try to the start finish straight. He can't lose any time if he wants to get back into the points. And then there's still Kasper Ackermann. But first he has to beat Carlos Sainz to P11, and he does. Carlos Sainz defending around the outside, maybe he tries to go with him. Um, it is not enough for Carlos Sainz to pull back on Aiden Jackson. Good exit ahead of the hairpin, and now he is chasing down his teammates. Again, they are fighting for P10 just like they were in Australia, and we all know how that went back then. Two laps to go, and Jackson is very close to Kasper Ackermann now. A little bit of a messed up exit there. And we're coming up to the chicane, uh, the hairpin, sorry, that Ackermann the gap to the car pushed him out a couple of laps ago. No heroics into this corner by Jackson, as he's too far away still. Now these long, long left and right handers needs to get a good exit out of the next corner. Because that is where we'll determine if he gets the RS or not. This is looking very good. Now this very long right hander, stay with him. Don't let the dirty air disrupt your run out of this corner. And this looks very, very good. Now, get ready for another chapter of the Alfa Romeo rivalry that is existing since Australia. And this is an aggressive move down the inside by Aiden Jackson. He almost gets squeezed off the road. And then he squeezes Ackerman back. And now he messes up this exit. 
This may be another chance for Ackerman. And another aggressive move by Casper Ackerman into the final corner. This time, though, Aiden Jackson knows that Ackerman is trying this kind of stuff and leaves him enough space. Another risky move by Casper Ackerman, who took his teammate out again, nearly. And now he needs to stay ahead on this final lap. Coming up to the hairpin where Ackerman took him out a couple of laps ago. This time, no funny business by Casper Ackerman. He stays behind. Now he has to defend against Carlos Sainz as well. Casper Ackerman. Now he's trying it around the outside of Jackson into this left hander. This usually does not work. It does not seem as if Jackson is pulling away quick enough to be safe in the final DRS zone. Running a little bit wide that last corner. And now he needs to get a good run in this long right hander. So that Ackerman has no chance on the long, long straight. And this is looking very good using all of his battery. And if he avoids making any mistakes in the final two corners, this is a first points finish and redemption for what happened in Australia. However, Alfa Romeo, the team, will not be happy after what they've seen today as well. Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Well, plenty to digest there, and a little bit ominous seeing the two Alfa Romeo teammates make contact again. Things don't look stable between these two drivers, Crofty. They've barely been teammates five minutes. That wheel bump, could that have been avoided, Ant? Yeah, it looked like Ackerman was making a bit of a statement to me. He's certainly not given Jackson any room. A sign of things to come? Well, for their sakes, let's hope not. That wraps things up here in China. Until next time. Casper, what the hell was that? You nearly put me out the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper, come on, man. You... I have to make a phone call. Casper, Ackerman, Mom, cancel the TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. Oh, come off it. Do you really have nothing better to do? By now, no. <laughs> and why would I want to miss this? You two, you two are like characters in a badly written sitcom. He wanted your lot to sign Ricardo, you know. Ask anyone. What do you mean? The paddock talks, mate. And so did Ackman. Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off on one about you. He tried to stop them from signing you. He didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. You want my advice? Prove him wrong! <laughs> Chin up! 